Hi, welcome back to my shop. I'm Carl. Um, today I'd like to share with you a little something different. You know, a lot of times I like to add things to my shop. I kind of like continuous improvement, which to me is like buying new tools and learning new techniques for my woodworking. But there's some times where you just want to do something that's a little more graphic or decorating. This is a decor item, but it's also a function, functional item also. Not too long ago, I commissioned a clock um, from Two Moose Designs, which is, which is Jess and Jeff. Thank you both for this fine clock here. I haven't even looked at it yet, but I know they do top quality work and I'm expecting good things here. So it's a three foot clock. Um, now I could make a clock myself, but since I don't have a CNC, um, I was not able to do this. So I feel like they're good Instagram friends of mine. So I commissioned them to make this for me. I'm going to hang it up on my wall over um, kind of above my sander, over my spindle sander over there. And um, it should be pretty nice. So it's to decorate the shop a little bit more, be some, you know, just nice to look at. Another little place, just kind of like a focal point in the shop over in this wall. But also be very functional too, because a lot of times I'm out here in the shop and I lose track of time. We all do, we get busy, we lose track of time and we're late for supper or some other thing. Now, I might be walked, um, stereo, there is a clock on this too, but I have to walk over and look at it. And of course, I got my cell phone, but you know, a lot of times we just don't take the time, or especially like if I'm finishing or something, my hands can be messy sometimes, and I don't wanna touch my phone or even my stereo. So that's why this clock could be nice. So it's part of the decor thing. It's part of the thing I just thought it'd be cool to have. So. Let's open this up and see what this looks like. I have not looked at it. This is a complete unboxing to me. So, um, like I say, I'm expecting good things though. So, just because I know that Jeff and Jess at Two Moose, Two Moose Design do a really good job on, uh, on this. Now, so if you're thinking about uh, buying something from Jess and Jeff, you can see how they pack the package things as well. So far, it's paper, very nice. And here we go with uh, a lot of bubble wrap, some more paper, some cardboard in between. Like I say, this is a three foot clock. I don't, I probably take that on the other side, but I don't really want to turn it over because there's hands and stuff here too. It's cute. Thank you for supporting our small business. And it says, Carl, I so appreciate your order and patience with it. With it. Thanks again. The Mooses, referring to Two Moose Design. You can see it. So that's pretty cool right there. As you see, they packed everything really nice. There's really no, very little chance of anything being damaged. They've um, been in business for quite a few years now, doing this type of thing there on Etsy. Um, you can see my us on Instagram, but they sell things on Etsy. And their website also, they sell things on their website, which is, of course, a very good way to go on about it, stuff like that, so. So anyhow, here's the clock with no hands on it as of right now. So, hey, it, does, it is in frame actually too, so. Whoops, pop a <laughs> little bump pop, pop, pop in there. But anyhow, I wanted my logo. So here we go, Bear Creek Woodworking with the um, hand plane in it. Nice clock face and stuff like this. This is ebony stain on here. Um, I was going to have, first I talked about just having a black color paint, but just um, suggested this ebony stain, which it did turn out really great because it does show the grain of the wood behind it and stuff. It's still a dark color, very similar to my logo, but you see the wood grain, which really makes it pop that much nicer and so forth. 
And if you're curious about the backside, this is how the backside is with some more bubble pop popping. So it's got a nice hanger here, nice looks heavy duty. It's, it's fairly, I mean, it's not super heavy, but you know, I don't know, 10 pounds or so probably. And uh, popping up my bubble pop all the time. So that's how it's constructed on the backside. Okay, the instructions on here say that once you have the movement mounted in the back and the washers on, it should be a quarter of a turn in order to um, secure the movement. But not more than that, because then they can interfere with how the movement runs. So it can slow down the movement, apparently. Which I did not know that before, but it does make sense. So do this a quarter of a turn. About that. Yep, feels like secure. Very good. Also, like I mentioned before, I just noticed this. I didn't notice it at first. But on the back, Jess and Jeff, they actually signed it and they wrote a little thing back here. First you put, put on a 2020, because that's the year it was made. It's a little hard to read because it's a black marker on ebony, but they did stamp it with the Two Moose Design stamp. So it's Bear Creek Woodworking. So that's, um, you know, so they don't get mixed up with other, other orders, I'm sure. Another stamp, Two Moose Design stamp. And then it says, thanks, Carl. And it says one of one, and then looks like something that, that looks like they initiated it as well. So it's one of one, so that's definitely true. So just says thanks, Carl, which is kind of cool. I have done some clock movements in the past. I've made a couple, one or two clocks myself, small like mantle clocks. So this is not foreign to me. That's right. Just a little bit, so maybe get the whole thing in frame again, or most of it at least. I'm gonna kind of just take it around, move, 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 but make sure it doesn't hit anything, you know. It doesn't appear to hit anything. I'm gonna take it around the whole cycle for 12 hours, just to make sure everything's cool here. Yeah, it looks like it is. Great. Okay. Now, put the battery in it. Battery just pops in the back, like most other clocks. There we go. So, there we go. Right there, it looks pretty nice. I'll take a few photos and include them in here. Um, I'm definitely good to know what time it is now. Double check the time, make sure it's accurate. Yep. And, uh, yeah, it's really cool. So I'm really happy with this, this clock here. It's 36 inch. It's made by Two Moves Design, which is Jess and Jeff. They're based in Wisconsin. So thank you, Jess. Thank you, Jeff, for making this clock for me. So that's all for now for this video. I hope everybody has a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.